Cancer Management. There are two possible goals for the treatment of the cancer, cure and or palliation. When the tumor is localized, the physician will choose the cure pathway. And if the cancer is a metastatic cancer, the palliation way is the best fitting solution. And for the locally advanced or stage three cancer, it is in between cure and palliation and it depends on the healthcare team decision and treatment plan. Now we should know more about three pivotal topics. First one is the curative treatment, which is considered to engender a small degree of risk of significant side effects or the possibility of cure, indicated when a curative technique, usually surgery, is available and the patient factors are favorable, such as lack of comorbid illnesses. The disease progression is localized if a patient doesn't have metastases with a lower stage tumor. Second topic is about palliative care. It is considered to alleviate symptoms when the risks of significant side effects outweigh the benefit of possible cure. And when there is metastatic disease and the patient factors are unfavorable, for example, presence of comorbid illnesses. Salvage chemotherapy. It is a treatment given after a cancer has not responded to other treatments standard therapy. And the treatment given for cancer that has come back recurred. And the goal of salvage therapy is to treat the disease and improve quality of life. Now we're gonna try to demonstrate this slide. The effects of various treatments on cancer cell burden in a hypothetical patient. Here, as you can see, the vertical line is all about the tumor cell burden or lag scale. And here is the time scale. And as you can see here, the start of the cancer, one milligram mass without any symptoms or asymptomatic. And here, if the cancer is about one gram, the symptoms are starting to, to be appeared. As you can see here, one gram mass cancer, significance of a one gram tumor mass, a total of 10 power nine cells is the smallest tumor burden that is physically detectable. And this one billion cells represent a tumor weighing, okay. represent a tumor weighing about one gram or about the size of a small grape. Clinical symptoms usually first appear at this stage. And from here, from this stage, if the disease progresses to reach one gram mass of tumor or the patient will die. And in this stage, there are two pivotal ways. First way is curative way and the palliative chemotherapy. For the curative chemotherapy, as you can see here, curative chemotherapy for the solid tumors, such as testicular carcinoma, the tumor burden is initially reduced by surgery and or radiation, as you can see the tumor reduced below the one milligram mass and followed by the treatment of followed by the treatment of occult micrometastases or secret micrometastases as continued after clinical signs of cancer have disappeared. And when it comes to the disseminated cancers such as leukemia, the curative chemotherapy option is done by the applying a chemotherapy protocols. The combination drug chemotherapy reduces the chance of drug resistance. And each drug is chosen to have different cellular site of action or different cell cycle specificity. Each drug is chosen to have different organ toxicity. Here is a treatment with anti-cancer drug and its cycles. The other option is the palliative chemotherapy as initial remissions are transient with symptoms recurring between treatments and survival is extended but the patient eventually dies of the disease. As you can see here, cancer cells become increasingly less responsive to treatment and finally death. Here we should notice that below the one gram mass or, or 10 powered by nine cells, the patient is asymptomatic and the patient symptomatic will start from the one gram mass and up.